Okay, guys, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this video is about another Call of Duty game and a uh, couple of problem solving that uh, if you play the game or, or are gonna get interested and, and get it like I did, I'm uh, gonna encounter and uh, so you, yeah, you have some problems with it as is. Uh, the game we're talking about is Call of Duty Worlds at War. Now, this is an old game, 2007, I believe. And uh, my gaming buddy, K47, invited me to get this game. Uh, he says the campaign is, is a very entertaining, incredibly brutal, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, great game. Uh, now, I downloaded the game, but it it's really an old game. So, uh, the menu system, for example, uh, does not contain a whole bunch of things that are only available via special codes and key combinations that you have to enter, uh, during the game. And the problem with those co key codes is, first of all, you have to figure them out. It's very, very difficult. You have to go to forums and find them and research them, etc., etc. Uh, or, um, you have to, uh, modify the configuration file. Now, uh, in order to simplify things, I modify the config file. And the reason for that is because if you change some, let's say, uh, field of view within the game, it only lasts as long as you play the game. So when you go back, you have to do it all over again. Or, for example, if you want the game to play in a uh, separate, in like a, in a window mode that you can move the window to a different place or etc. Then, then there are lots of, uh, problems because those settings are not included in the settings graphics menu. So, uh, for demo purposes, I reset the game as is, as it was. So it's going to be in full screen on my ultra wide. Uh, but, uh, as it was by default. So let's start it right there. And I'm going to show you, let me put down the audio because I'm not interested in that, uh, the game itself. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Let's click. And, uh, so the problem for me that I cannot move the cursor out of this window. So I need to be able to adjust for recording or streaming uh, the OBS Studio uh, program for, for the stream or adjust things or modify things or type in responses or uh, do various things. And it's impossible from doing that as is. So that's one issue. The second issue, actually I shouldn't have shut it down. Let's just go there. Okay. I'm just jumping right into the program. This is 65 degree field of view. Okay. Now, 65 degrees are incredibly narrow on ultrawide, even on regular monitor. And I'm one of those guys, unfortunately, who cannot tolerate that. And I get physically ill, very, very, very sick from this stuff. Literally, we, when we tested out the game with AK-47, I, I told him that I have to stop and go lay down. I literally had a headache until even next day. Okay. It's like, uh, I don't know, when you're really drunk or something, I don't know, or maybe, you know, out in the sun, you know, you know, heat stroke or something. That's the feeling. Incredibly, incredibly sick. So I told him that I, I need to find a permanent solution for, uh, adjusting the 65, this, this right here. into a higher value, as well as be able to take my cursor out of this. And uh, for those two things, along with play the game in uh, in a window mode. So that that's all 
basically in one package that I needed to find a solution. So let's just uh, actually uh, just let's log out for now. I'm just gonna exit the game. Now, okay, so in order to find a solution, you have to go to our website called Zombie World Record. And uh, this is the Zombie World Record website. I'm going to show it to you. And it, I never knew about it. Uh, AK-47 told me about it. And on the right side, there is more and go to downloads. In the download section, find FOV changer, field of view changer, and borderless tool. Both of them are very important in order to make the game uh, usable. And uh, especially if you're playing on multiple screens and ultra wide, so get these uh, programs, save them in, in your uh, you know program files, but make your copies onto your desktop so they are available readily. Okay, the program itself is located. Uh, first of all, how you reach it. So let's go to see view. This is a file manager. Uh, Windows 11, Show, and Hidden Items. You must activate Hidden Items, otherwise you won't be able to find them. From here, let's go to Users. Mr. G, your username, not my username, your username. Um, app Data, Local, Activision, Cold of uh, Duty, Worlds at War. Players, profiles, again your username, and open up this configuration file. Okay, you need to open up this file first. And uh, this file, I'm gonna open it up. This is what it's gonna look like. So you go to edit, find, and type in full screen. And it finds it right here, full screen. Change this value number one to zero and save it. This is very important, okay? Now you can close this one down, okay? Let's close it down. Now we activate the field of view changer which uh, is going to look like this. Will that work? Field of view changer. And we go up to, in my case, I prefer 100 degrees. This is a good one. Enable beep. Actually, I don't need that. Auto start. Yes. And uh, yeah, I'm just showing it. And the second program is the borderless. And it's talking about black ops. And it says Black Ops is not running. But, and obviously this is not Black Ops, but it works. It works with a uh, world at war. Okay. So what you need to select is center the window, say settings. And you can select don't ask again if you like. And high test bar, this is optional. And uh, set your obviously resolution. This is my display resolution. You can even select in multiple displays uh, which one to use. Okay. Now it's very important for me because like I showed it, um, I have my laptop screen that I operate uh, like the uh, streaming uh, software uh, for wind or for YouTube or Facebook, for example. I have my mobile that's o with OBS studio and uh, the mobile with, uh, for example, in this case, the chit chat we're having with AK-47. So this is high operate and that's why I need to be able to move my cursor here and uh, on the other side here and the laptop here and obviously the gaming surface here. So these are very, very important things for me to be able to do. Otherwise, I cannot operate the games and interact or modify or do various things that I need to do. Okay, I'm going to deactivate these windows. 
And now I'm going to remove these from this uh, view and move them aside to the left side, if I can. I need to grab it. Come on. It's going to be so difficult. So I, I'm doing it on the left side. So this is where they are right now. I'm showing it on, on this area. Okay. And uh, right now, I can launch the game. And if you start uh, the borderless program, Night recognizes the game. And basically, you just have to select what you want and set Black Ops to borderless. Now I'm going to pull this one over here, as you can see. Because now, after modifying the configuration file that we just did, from 1 to 0, save, now it's, it's in a border mode. Right? Like a window mode. And it has its border. So now, we're going to activate this menu, set to borderless, and it's borderless now. And I can move my cursor out of it. So now I can freely move my cursor between the four windows. The left side, the center, right side, and in the gaming area. So this was what this was all about. Now if you go into a new game, just a new game, this is the um, campaign. Now it's 100 degree, much more um, enjoyable for me with a wide angle view. So now I'm ready, finally, to play the game. But all this because I have the field of view changer and uh, as well as this uh, borderless adjustment program. Otherwise, it won't work. So these are the uh, things I wanted to show you guys that these are very, very important to get. And uh, like I said, you can go to that website and uh, download it from this uh, zwr.gg zombie world record website go to the menu on the right side downloads and here you can find find uh, the f or a field of view changer as well as the borderless and others if you prefer obs studio is what i'm using some people prefer this one this split i think obs studio is the best uh, but uh, you need to spend some time to learn this program because it's uh, the better they are, the more sophisticated they are and the more complex they are. So, yeah. Okay, let me just turn off everything here. My laptop, mobile, mobile too. And now we only have the desktop. So, yes, this is the solution if you want to play this game. And uh, we're going to have some fun with AK-47, as well as uh, probably um, I myself uh, with this game. I'm going to try it out. It wasn't expensive. And we'll see. Hopefully this will solve my headache problem with a field of view changer. Uh, if not, then <laughs> probably I'm not going to play that game much. Depends, you know. But uh, for Modern Warfare 3, for example, I experienced the same thing. And uh, for Modern Warfare 3, um, there is a field of view changer that's allowed, permitted. And it's available for download, actually. And this is the one approved by Infinity Ward and Valve. Okay? So this FOV changer. I cannot guarantee that other FOV changers won't get you banned. So use them at your own risk. And if a program says that you must not use any kind of external FOV changer, then please don't. Okay? Don't. So, yeah. So much for this. See you guys next time. Bye.
Geeks, 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 Geeks,